Hello ladies and gentlemen and friends and welcome to this new edition of Sotorial Talks. Today, as you can immediately notice, we receive you, I receive you in our home in Bourgogne, in our living room, but I don't wear the jacket. Why? Because we're going to speak today about neckwear and about ties more specifically. And the reason why I don't wear a jacket is that I want to show you my favorite ties and I want to put them in front of me so that you can appreciate a little bit how it looks. And of course, if I wear a jacket, for example, I tried with Sonia to wear a blue blazer saying, well, with a blue blazer, everything's going to work. And actually, it doesn't really. I mean, most of the ties will will work with a blue blazer, but some of them were really awful. So this is the reason why, for once, it feels a little bit strange to me, to be honest, to be in my shirt only in front of you, but this is for a good cause. So why do I dedicate um, a full episode to neckwear? First of all, because I want to protect the neckwear, the art of wearing ties and bow ties, the art of having something around your neck. We men, we don't have a lot of choices to really express ourselves and ties are so beautiful. So uh, I know that in America, less and less people, for example, in America, but also around the world are wearing ties and we are advocating specifically uh, to the young generation, ties is fantastic. You can really change your whole look. And I can see uh, my cameraman, he is not used to wear a tie. But when I say that, he's doing this with his head because he discovered the, the fact that wearing a tie changes something. I don't advocate that you wear a tie every day, but give it a try and you will see you're going to appreciate it. So I receive a lot of questions and this is a very difficult question. What are your tie, favorite tie brands? You know, there's so many tie makers on the planet. There's so many different choices. Because after all, uh, it's not a very complicated thing, you know, a tie. Even if I will show you some technical ones. But globally, it's a piece of silk. Most of the time, I would say 80% of the time is silk. It can be wool. It can be cashmere. It can be blends. But most of the time, the basic tie, I mean, the most um, use, usual tie is in silk, and so uh, there are a lot of producers around the world. I'm going to speak to you today about my four favorite ties. When I say favorite, it's basically the ties I'm using every day. And when I, tr I tried to think with Sonia, I said, what, what, what tie am I using? Well, it boils down to these four brands that I'm using pretty much all the time. I would say 95% of the time. So it's my taste, it's my selection. It doesn't mean there are the best tie makers in the world, but they are surely among the best. And you will discover something is that three of them are from Italy, and one of them is from Romania, Eastern Europe. All of them are shipping worldwide. So if you live in America, you can order directly from them. But the point is that you could ask yourself, why Italy everywhere? Why you speak about three Italian brands and a Romanian brand, but whose silk is coming from Italy? Precisely. The silk capital of the world for neckwear is in Lake Como in Italy. Everybody, every high level clothing, I'm not speaking about 10 bucks uh, kind of polyester tie you can buy on Amazon uh, made overseas. No, we are talking about real neckwear here. And when you speak about silk, specifically in neckwear, you immediately think about the beautiful town of Como and the lake. Como, which is worldwide famous for that. So for me, this is the, the very center of the neckwear industry is in Italy. And this is the reason why I'm very enamored with the Italian way of looking at ties. It's also a matter of spirit. I know the British are very good at making ties. They are very British. They're very conservative and they do beautiful tie. But for my taste, I like to express myself with a tie and I feel much more comfortable with the Italian way of looking at things. But one more time, it's just a matter of taste, really. So, to answer your question, what are your favorite ties? I will uh, show you, well, I did a selection. Honestly, I have hundreds of ties in my wardrobe. I love them. I love to lose myself in the ties because it's silk, it's funny to touch. So I just selected, I would say, I don't know, I don't even know how many, maybe 30 ties to show you. And I'm gonna put them in front of my white shirt Okay, so that you can appreciate a little bit. You will see immediately that I am a little bit addicted to striped ties, but a little bit more on this immediately. So we're going to start with one brand. We're going to do from the most affordable 
Uh, well, let's say the price up. Okay, we're gonna start with a, a brand which is a little bit under one hundred dollars, and much less in the sales period. And then we're gonna move to hundred dollars, above hundred dollars, and above two hundred dollars, which is uh, luxury ties. And uh, technically speaking, most of the ties I'm gonna show you it's what we call a three ply tie. That is to say, a simple um, piece of uh, silk which is uh, uh, which is. Um, um, folded three times only and then the ultra luxury is a sevenfold i will show you so we start with okay i take all of them look at that isn't it for me ties are like a can it's like candies and this is something that i really like because it's uh, um, wearing a tie it's something like i don't know putting some freshness in your in your in your life and please 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 stop visualizing um, a tie and associating a tie with work. I don't mean that it's not good to, to wear a tie at work. It is. But me, in my mind, I associate tie with fun. I associate tie with pleasure. I associate in my mind tie with elegance. I want to be elegant. I, I wear a tie not because I have to wear a tie and less and less. Even in bankers, I know in the USA, even some bankers don't advise their uh, associate to wear a tie anymore. But me, when I think of a tie, it's all about pleasure. It's all about expressing yourself as a man. The first brand I want to talk to you about is a brand from Romania. Romania, Eastern Europe, our good friend Dan Kostash. We know him since many, many years. He's a kind of a figure in Pity Womo. We met him many, many times. He's very, very good gentleman, sweet guy. Very, uh, we love him. He's a very good friend of us. But on top of that, he has a perfect taste. And Thai is all about taste. It sounds a little bit, you know, when you look at an object like that, say, oh, it's easy. Everybody can make ties. No, no. Because the choice of colors, the choice of how you're going to really use the colors, how you're going to coordinate all that. This is why I don't wear a jacket, because I want to have you, I want to explore on different possibilities with you. And Dan Kostash, the, the brand is called the Urban Tie. Well, we're going to write it on the screen. You're going to be better. And uh, it's very good. And this price is a little bit under $100. So it's beautiful tie. The silk comes from Lake Como in Italy, and it's handmade, literally handmade in Romania. So I show you a few. I specifically like his striped ties. So he just sent us, actually a few days ago, because he likes to send us a few ties, you know, for the different seasons so that we can always review it. So for example, this one, I think this is a beautiful tie. Look at that, you see? So I don't have the time to, to knot all of them because it will take three hours with everything I have. But you see that? So that's a striped tie. Typically this, with a blue blazer or with a, any kind of blue suits or even with a brown suit, for example. It will work perfectly. A little tip on that. Uh, look at the colors in the tie. For example, if you say, okay, this, this tie is a majority of blue, so it will work with any kind of blue outfit, but there's some brown here. So you can give it a try, for example, with a tobacco jacket or a brown jacket, and I'm pretty sure it will work. You see, always try to find a color in the tie which is reminiscent of the color of your jacket. Stripe tie, like this one, white stripe, well, regimental tie, as we say it, it's a little bit more casual than other type of tie, but for me, it's what I wear almost every day. That's the urban tie. So let's try a few others. This is very fun for the summer. Look at that, how fresh. How crispy. It looks for me like almost a candy. I'd like to eat this tie, literally. This is what we call a shantung silk. You see, this silk is not totally neat. It's a little bit, um, it's a little bit rough on purpose. This is very summery, this one, always by the urban tie. All those are the urban tie in Romania. Look at this one a little bit more. Oh, same, on the same collection. Look at this one. You see, this one is purple and dark blue. Look, wow, this is very chic. Huh? Sonia, do you like this one? Yes, she likes it. Shantung silk, again. And then another stripe here, a little bit more formal, let's say. See this one? Because it's a bit more shiny. This will be a little bit more for, you know, business meeting, maybe. All, uh, always the same. You see, this one is brown and different shade of blue. This will go with a lot of different outfits. And then we go to something a little bit more specific. All these are new tie that we received very recently, always by the Urban Tie. Look at this. This has a lot of flair. 
Here we're more in the 1950s, I would say 40s, 50s, 50s, 60s even, with this kind of greenish blue and some kind of purple in it. This is a very versatile tie. One other tip uh, passing by in my head is that um, always uh, do what I do. Because sometimes you see a beautiful tie on the rack and say, oh, I love this tie. But yet you do this, it doesn't really work, specifically when you have a jacket. Okay, so always try to do that. And if you buy online, try to imagine, uh, try to identify on the color of the tie something that will be reminiscent of your jacket. And the last one I want to show you, it's not the last one of their collection. You understand that each of the brown I will show you, and I am showing you, have hundreds of different ties. It's just, I just grab, grab the few like this in my closet to share it with you. But this one, for example, is medallion. Medallion is extremely interesting. Why? Because you are not trapped in some rules. Medallion can go, for example, extremely well with striped shirts. In the case of strapped ties, there's a rule you have, you really have to follow, is that if you want to wear a striped shirt with a striped tie, it has to be of different scales, right? If you have, for example, a striped shirt with little stripes, then you can wear it this one, because it will not be in, co in, in conflict visually. But if you wear a, a, a little striped shirt with little stripe, with a little stripe on your shirt, it's going to create some kind of a conflict visually. So the rule is a very important rule. Uh, I mean, it's not a rule. You will not go into in jail if you don't follow this rule, of course. But it's a stylistic thing that you should really, really be careful of, is that when you wear two stripes, always make sure it's different uh, different kind, different, um, how do you say, Scale. scales, yeah, I, w I have to ask Sonia because sometimes I'm losing my English, okay? So, uh, uh, the same pattern, different scale, okay? But for this one, this is very versatile, you can wear this with practically everything. So, it's just a few examples, Dan Kostash, the Herman Ties in Romania, he has an e-shop, it's a fantastic, I think when they're on sale, they're on 60 bucks, something like that. And uh, now these days they're around $100. It can ship all around the world and we really, really like this man. So that was the Urban Tie and I'm gonna ask my beautiful wife to take them away because she's not gonna, she, she, she didn't know I was gonna ask her this. So you can put them away, darling. Hey, say hi to the camera. Okay, now we're gonna stay. Mm -hmm. Let's stay in Italy, but this time we're gonna go to Napoli. You know, we are in love with Sonia. We are in love in so with Sonia, for sure. But uh, we are in love with Napoli, uh, south of Italy, this place where tailoring still have a meaning and men's style is very important there. And we have a very good friend that we appreciate and we follow and for a long time is uh, Annalisa Calabrese and uh, eponymous brown uh, calabrese that has been founded by her father that passed a few years ago they have a chapter in our book the italian gentleman this is a uh, beautiful beautiful and uh, the difference with many others is that she has her atelier and she's making the ties actually right there in front of you you can see the people making the tie right there same for the urban tie they have an atelier in romania doing by by hand the ties and calabrese is the same thing you see here an ocean of seal, and they are making the tie right there. So it's a bona fide tie maker. So at Calabrese, you're going to find all the classics. What I like specifically, so at her, you have hundreds of different patterns with all the qualities. Threefold, you can have sevenfold, but threefold is the, the main thing. For example, I love this collection of patterns. This one, okay? This is, look at that. This is very beautiful to see. It's a little bit more oomph, as we say. It's a little bit more uh, daring, but it's beautiful. The hand of the silk is just exceptional. And this is, a, and there's another one of the same collection, you see, same pattern, same design, but a little bit different in colors, you know, in the greenish like that. This is extremely chic also. This is Calabrese in, in Napoli. And then you have the, the all time classic. Like for example, I've been wearing this one a lot. I love the, the hand of the silk of the Calabrese tie is amazing. This one is a Prince of Wales pattern. You see this, ladies and gentlemen, with a gray suit. You want to be, you know, soft speaking with your attire, but at the same time, extremely sharp. 
This is a beautiful tie to have. Of course, she's doing a lot of beautiful medallions. I think Sonia will um, confirm that. I wore this one a lot also. This is a medallion. This goes with practically everything. You see, this one is blue, but a little shades of gold orange in it so it can really pair with a lot of things specifically it goes very well with a striped tie a striped shirt sorry so it goes pretty much with everything and then i can't resist showing you uh, a lot of stripe because i love stripe for example this look this is not silk always calabrese this is linen this is a linen tie look it looks like for me it's like a candy you, 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 I'm sorry to say, I always say that, but I, when I love a tie, I want to eat it because it looks so interesting. This, you know, with a, I don't know, a linen suit, off-white linen suit. This, you look so good all of a sudden. You see how you, look at me. You see, you put this under your face, all of a sudden your face is shining. Something's happening. And of course, if you follow so total talk since a long time and if you've seen me in different uh, different um, outfits and different occasions look i've been wearing it a lot you can see this is one of my favorite tie uh, uh, of all time this is a strap very simple but you see look without the tie and look with the tie it adds something you can't deny them you can't deny it and what is very strange is that a lot of people they have this belief that a tie will make them uncomfortable because you know it will really almost strangle you well uh, if you have problems with your tie wearing a tie because you say that it's too it's not easy to breathe with a tie it's not the tie your problem is your shirt <laughs> it's just something you have to remember if you feel too too compressed with a tie it's not the problem with the tie it's a problem with your shirt you have to take a bigger color it's very simple to explain so that was calabrese we're gonna put on the link in the description, fabulous tie, around a hundred dollars. I think it's a hundred euros or maybe a hundred and ten dollars. She ships all around the world. She's a fantastic person and we love her. Hello, Annalisa, I hope you're doing well. Hey, darling, take back this, please, because we're gonna stay in Napoli and uh, gonna visit our friend Nicola Radano, Spaca Napoli. Thank you, darling. Now, we're gonna go to a, a younger maker which is not, he doesn't have his own atelier, but he's working with some artisan in Napoli. We like him very much. We know his, him since he's a boy, literally. I would say since he's a young man, very young. We met him, he was 16 or 17 years old. He was a student, very interesting young man called Nicola Radano. And his brand is called Spacca, Spacca Neapolis. Spacca is the most famous street that is crossing the whole city of Naples. It's a very interesting street and uh, it's, uh, it's iconic in, in Napoli. And uh, Nicola Radano is a very, is, 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 is a young man, I mean, he was, he used to be extremely young now, he's probably 10 years uh, older now, probably in his late 20s, something like that. So he launched his brand of tie, I would say three or four years ago, and we supported him immediately because we like his taste. So you'll see it's a little bit more daring, a little bit more, I would say, creative, a little bit more, it's different, let's say. And he, uh, I've been, for example, this model, when you look at this, typically, when you look at this on a tie rack, I remember when he sent me this tie, I remember myself saying to Sonia, I will never wear that. This is strange, really. You know, it's some kinds of dots. It has some, some I don't know, turquoise and a little bit of brown, a little bit of ochre. It's, it's very weird. And I ended up wearing this tie almost every day with different kind of outfits. This is, against all odds, an extremely versatile tie. And it is beautiful because it's, something is very original. Something is very different with everything that Nicola Radano is doing. It's, um, this one is a threefold, but you know, you can see it's artisanal because you can see the thing inside the tie. So it's a beautiful, I like this tie. So, and everything that he does has some kind of flair it's different, let's say. For example, um, let's say this one. Look at that. That's a very unusual pattern. Okay? So, of course, you can't wear this with everything, but it's very interesting. With a tie like that, you say something different. You say, I don't know, something about your creativity, about 
what you want to express in life or how much you want to take your chances. I don't know. You see, but for me, this is not everybody is able to pull off a tie like that. But if you do, you really say something different. Same thing for this one. This one, I wore it a couple of times. Okay. It can be kind of flashy, if you say, because it's a very strong pattern. But look, it works. Something's happening with this tie. See, so that's for me the science and the art of Nicola Radano. If you want to express yourself a little bit more than a classic tie, even though they're absolutely fantastic, the one we've been, we saw just before, maybe this will be your tie maker. And then you can do something more toned down. For example, this one I've been wearing a whole lot. You know, this kind of small medallion in different shades of blue and brown and gray. Look at that. It's so easy to wear. You can, and this, you know, you try a tie like that, even if you're not used wearing neckwear, it's not, it's very, very easy to wear. And it's, it's not very noticeable. On the contrary, this one is a little bit more shiny, but look, look how good it looks. Look at that. All of a sudden, something's happening. So Nicola Rodano, Spaca Neapolis, you see, even if I only show you, I don't know, five, six ties out of probably more than a hundred that he has with different pattern, it can be more classical, of course, but I like him for his creativity. This, you say something different with him. So Spaca Neapolis, uh, I would say his price is around 120, something like that, in the same range as Calabrese, uh, pretty much. So you see, we're not speaking of uh, entry-line ties, but we're not speaking about unaffordable ties. These are the ties. For me, I think 100 bucks for a good neckwear, this is the price to pay if you really want to have quality, something that will really, really stay with you a long time. And darling, you want to take those ones? Thank you. And then we finish with, well, I would say maybe not the Rolls Royce, but... Uh, because when you sell the Rolls Royce, you have all the Bentleys, Aficionado, who say, boo, don't speak about Rolls Royce, Bentley is better. It's the same when you speak about Ferrari uh, and the people from Aston Martin are not happy. So I would say uh, here we jump into another level, maybe. Most of them are sevenfold tie uh, with a lot of uh, vintage fabric. Uh, is my friend Kenji Kaga, as you can immediately notice, he's Japanese. And his um, brand is Tie Your Tie. I love this brand. Just a name. is music to my ear. Uh, is in Italy, also in Florence this time. And it's a mix for me between the Japanese idea, the Japanese aesthetic, and at the same time, the hand of the fabulous uh, Italian silk. So uh, Kenji is a specialist of sourcing vintage silk, something like from the past with very, very... Um, patterns, um, very uh, old patterns that uh, he revive and is offering. Here we are on the, the price range is above 200. So we move to something a little bit different and all the ties I have on my uh, table tonight is what we call sevenfold. I'm going to show you on the camera. That's a sevenfold tie. You see, there's a lot more silk. This is why the price, you see, look at that. There's a lot of silk. So this tie has been uh, folded on itself seven times. So you see, it's probably not double of silk, but a lot more silk than the three pie tie. And this is his specialty. There's nothing inside, it's very, very specific and very easy to wear, but it's beautiful and with a movement. So look at that, for example. I don't even know how to describe this tie. It's some kind of blue gray with shades of brown in it. I've been wearing this with a gray suit, for example, against old odds. It works extremely well. This is tie your tie. And then, for example, let's take this one. This one is one of my favorites too. You see? The vintage feeling is that it's the same striped tie in terms of pattern, but look how it looks different. It looks like really 50s, 60s for me. I can see myself, uh, this will be okay in a Mad Men, for example, episode, or something even a little bit later. In the 60s, maybe in Carnaby Street in London, you know, it's a little bit different. Always sevenfold. You see, this is pure silk. There's a lot of silk in this thing. But I love that. Uh, i show you uh, a few more. Look at that. It's very, very... Um, okay, it's, I would say it's tie for connoisseurs and tie lovers. Look at that. This is very different. This is a little bit more complicated to pull off. 
in appearance because once again specifically for this kind of level of tie it's you have to really study the colors and make sure it will go with something but this is more versatile than you can imagine but it's just beautiful and then you have this kind of green for example look at this beauty this is what we call a cashmere pattern look at that okay so you see each brand has a kind of a style, a kind of a flair. And this one is a little bit more for, I would say, seasoned sartorialist. There's something special about Thai or Thai that um, the, 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 the material is using is silk most of the time. It's a little bit rougher. It's, a little bit, it's from the past. And it's vintage Thai. And it has a different interaction with the sun. Under the light, those ties are very, very luxurious. They have something more there's something very different this is why we love it look at this one for example for the summer i think for me this is a piece of art it looks and this one for once it's not a seven fold it's a simple three fold but look at that imagine you have yeah just a linen suit off-white maybe maybe yeah off-white or even white and look you put this on look you around the swimming pool uh, a lounge some lounge music, you have a cocktail party. And then everybody shows up in their stupid, uh, you know, T-shirts and, 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 and Bermudas and shorts, you know, and then you arrive just with a linen pants, you know, and maybe a light linen jacket. And then you have this, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the class of that. You don't look out of place even around the swimming pool with that, but... It has something, you know, it really creates an effect. The color here is like salmon, orange, a little bit of gray. It's beautiful tie. And this one, yeah, it's only a three ply. It's beautiful by tie, your tie. And I have, well, I have so many from then. I love them. But for example, this one also, that's a piece of art. This one, you don't see it like that, but there's some green in it. You, you see? On the strap, there's a little bit of green in it. And it's a very strong personality. And the hand of this tie is just unbelievable. This is, uh, yeah, this is real luxury ties from Tai Your Tie. And the last one here, yeah, you can see there's still the, the label on it. I didn't wear this one for the moment because this is, uh, that's a sevenfold also tie. Look at that. I'm some kind of, uh, I don't know how to describe this color because inside you have some green, some brownish it's very very sophisticated and look at that wow here the i'm in 1950s literally here you know with a beautiful gray suit well this will go with pretty much everything and i can see an old-fashioned cadillac or whatever in the 50s literally 50s and this is the art of tie your tie so it's different this one is a um, well again in terms of price is different i think it's about 220 dollars you can choose your silk you can choose your width uh, I, I, I we will put on the link to tie your tie uh, their store is in florence but they ship all around the world and kenji kaga is japanese is a wonderful gentleman and we have a marvelous relationship with these people so here we are for my tie selection now once for all i answered you about which tie i prefer for sure i'm more italian in my way of looking at things but in any case whether you like your ties from france hermes is very famous of course or on savile you can find fantastic tie makers also more british something a little bit more toned down more uh, classic in style but all of them somehow they work with Italians because the silk and the patterns are, of course, made uh, in the Lake Como in Italy. Of course, I can't finish this without speaking about Charvet. Charvet in France is probably one of the most impressive um, uh, um, shop around. So I think every day at Charvet, Place Vendôme in Paris, you have 8,000 ties on display. Can you believe what it means? I don't say 8,000 ties in terms of numbers, 8,000 different ties on display. And this, but this is another price range. This is another, another thing altogether. And the reason why I don't show it to you is that I only own, I think two Charvet ties they are beautiful. We have a lot of respect for these people. But if you want to wear uh, ties on a daily basis, uh, then uh, I advise you those four brands. So I remind you, the urban ties, I would say around 80 bucks, 
under 100 for sure. And in, in periods of sale, like today, um, we're recording this in, in uh, this is end of February. No, it actually was March 2nd is the birthday of my mummy. So I, I could not, it's impossible for me to forget that. So second of March, I know they are on sale for like 60 bucks, something like that. But normal price would be around, around, around 80 bucks. So the urban tie in Romania, handmade in Romania. Then you have Calabrese, of course, very important in Napoli, around $100. Then you have Spaca Napolis, made in Napoli also, a little bit more funky, let's say, a little bit more uh, daring, a little bit more creative by a young man called Nicola Radano that we like a lot. And ultimately for me, what I consider maybe to be the Rolls Royce or the Bentley or the Ferrari or the Aston Martin, whatever you want to call it, of Tides, which is uh, our friend Kenji Kaga in Florence. If you are in Florence one day, you have to pay your visit to this shop. It's called Tie Your Tie, and it's a beautiful, wonderful tie maker. Here we are. That was uh, all for today. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you share a little bit of my passion for that. I know that not many people are wearing tie, but please, please, please give it a try. And not only for special occasions. Give it a try if you just want to look at your best, if you just want to, you know, enjoy yourself and express yourself in terms of style, you should give neckwear a chance. I see you soon to the next edition of Sutural Talks. And in the meantime, take care of others. Bye-bye. <laughs>